Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're doing well. So we come in. It's Monday night. It's the last night of my birthday weekend. And so we're going to have a go at some, whoop, sorry, um, alcohol links with some Perlex interference pigment powders um, to see how that looks. Like there is one thing I know about the uh, the powders is that you must seal it. Yeah, otherwise, if you brush brush your hand over it, you can brush them away. So once the alcohol evaporates, the powder is still just powder. So let's have a look. So I also have two 6x4 photo papers sitting here and I thought maybe we could do those as well and one of those could be a giveaway during this live. So one of these days I will do a competition on how many times do I say so. Hi Emma, how are you going? Alright, gloves for first because even just in preparation, my hands got dirty. Um, so that's all good and well, it's, it's partly expected. But if I had just put gloves on sooner, well, that's a whole other story. So, let's move these out of the way. But first, I do have a new one. It's pink. So it's the Jacquard Piñata Alcohol Inks that I've got here. So I haven't used that pink before. Hi, Shatsy. Thanks for joining us from Germany. So the Bellex powders are violet, blue and green. So what I've done is I've scooped up a nice pile on the end of the stick and I've added some alcohol ink, alcohol ink, isopropyl alcohol and just stirred it through. When it's sitting there, the powders do settle down to the bottom and I don't really think I can show you that. Um, so you have to be sure to stir it up before using. Just something I thought I'd try. Might give us a nice pearly and a look to the alcohol ink. Um, right. So the next question is going to be what kind of colours am I looking at? So the other new colour I have that I haven't used yet is Burrow Brown. So because they are new, I do want to use them. But also because I haven't used them, I'm hesitant to use them. Oh, it's like double-edged sword there, isn't it? Alrighty. So I'm just going to move these over. So my Yupo paper is from Art Spectrum. And so you can see they're acid-free. 200 GSM, there's 10 sheets in here and they're size A3. Oh, another alcohol ink I haven't used yet. Mantilla Black. So, they're just popping up all over the place, aren't they? Alright, so I've got two photo papers. That's the Yupo pad. And then 
Stephanie Zippo that I've already taken out. And pop that there. Alright. So, oh, there I did it again. Okay. So, can I move? I can move that way a little bit. Put these over here. So this is just a canvas board that I've wrapped a plastic bin liner around and then yeah when I'm done I can move the whole thing aside. Let's see. Go in. Two. So it's really good if you can to put some paper towel or something absorbent underneath what you're working on for any spillover of the alcohol ink and everything so just popping that down um, the fact that the canvas board has a plastic cover on it means that I can change it and reuse it over and over so that's good. All right. There we go. So <clears throat> another thing that I picked up was this. Look, one dollar. Whoops, this way. One dollar from a second hand store but it's got this wave around the edges and I thought if I were to put that down it might create little dashes creating the shape of the heart so we shall see all right So looking forward to this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, right, so picking some colours. I'd really like to do the pink. I'd like to do something hmm, a little more colourful. But that's teal. But I don't know. That's the sapphire blue. That one's really bold and dark. I'm going with the blue violet, teal, pink. And maybe the sun bright yellow. Because if anything mixes, I feel like that would still create a new, nice new colour. Hello. Let's get that back in focus. Maybe, there we go. Hello, hello Mandy. Thanks for coming in. We're going to do some alcohol inks. We're testing out some Perlex powders in isopropyl alcohol on here as well. So, hmm. Let's see, so I think I'm happy with this. So we have pink. Teal, some bright yellow, and blue violet. Right. So we'll start off first by opening them up and having them ready. Sometimes if you don't Clean it off very well. It's really hard to open. I need to just stop and spend a moment wiping around the drippers. And there we go. So pretty. Nice colours. Thanks, Emma. Alright, 
put down some isopropyl alcohol first off we'll use this bottle because it can squirt out a larger amount so put a bit down quite frivolous with that there and then some of that there that's the teal and put the pink oh that is pretty I haven't used that one before that one and just give it pick it up I didn't want to tape it down because I wanted to be able to pick it up and move it a little bit um, a little bit more alcohol around that edge and looks like the rest is fine so now I'm going to add a little heat and a little bit of air from my heat gun on the low setting and see what we create Chasing that bit off the end. Okay, so that's still pretty liquidy. And I know that, where are we? Let's see how that looks for you guys. Over here, I might throw a dash of pink. It seems that this pink is comes up much lighter. some color on the surface it ended up a bit muddy there um, I will throw down some of these interference now and see what happens with that the blue violet is gorgeous it is absolutely divine so which one was this violet so I'm just going to throw that down there. This one is over here. And then this one. We'll put it around here. All right, let's just blow that around a little bit. So 
we're going to use the air gun. Oof. Wow. that for a mixture and from what I can see I don't know how much it's actually showing through there's some of that interference So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it dries. Um, so let's just pop you back about there, I think. So from here, I'm really tempted with that interference colors in there to actually use a balloon right now. Just because I feel like that would uh, bring out the effect of using the balloon on it. <clears throat> I grabbed a balloon, giving it a stretch. Yes, the interference colours have made some pretty effects on there. Okay, so I'm not going to blow it up very big. Um, I just had this whole idea that... <clears throat> If you do blow it up big and then bring it back down, it might be softer, like less, less firm. So that might be good enough. So then we'll let some air out and then this might have just stretched it that extra bit. Definitely softer than just blowing it up to that point the first time. <clears throat> All right. So let's have a look. Oh, pretty. So the alcohol ink is still pulling in the center of where the balloon is squashing. But I think that's pretty cool. These bits here look like a really dark turquoise. Um, but from what I can see, I watch you guys through a tablet to see what's happening in chat and to welcome you. Um, but that's how I can kind of see whether or not the colours are coming through. So, but I don't, I guess it does depend on the individual's device, but I hope. This is looking pretty for you guys. Oh, 
look at that. Can you see the interference on there? Right now I'm just looking at where there's some areas that were blank and even if they are I think that's okay but this could make for a really nice background to um, embellish just need to wait for that alcohol ink to get a little bit tacky I just dry it off a little bit as well. Oh, so beautiful. I do want to keep some vibrant yellow over here. Just splash down a little bit over and start from this side because it's the lightest side. Oh my gosh, we're getting to that point now where it's creating specific reactions. Yeah, so this is just like the, I did the um, acrylic paint balloon smash background last night, no, the night before. And now I feel like I'm kind of recreating that in the alcohol inks. So, how fun. Hey, Tish, how are you going? Thanks for coming in. Put some pink over here. Try and bring some pink back to that corner and a little bit over here. Oh, those effects are coming in amazing. That looks so pretty. Thanks, Emma. Trying to get these ones here. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, even right now, the entire surface is not dry. Um, also that. Clean that off a little bit more. So I've got alcohol over in a spray bottle over here. Sorry, that's trying to wipe off the balloon. Bring some of that bright yellow back. Oh, how fun. That 
that is cool. <laughs> that yellow, even wiping it off, there's still just the slightest trace will um, reactivate in the alcohol. Let's see. I think we'll go with a blue violet here. Try and create a little bit of a darker section just without adding any extra on oh, no, it. We might need to. Just a few drops. I'll keep going back into that section where I added the alcohol. Wow. So I definitely also like to do the same with the teal. Oops. The bottle's dripping from some unknown location. It's gone into that pink. a little pop of color over there all right so I think for right now we're going to put that aside because I still I want to factor that as a background not the entire completed piece to dry out wow oops all right so I'm gonna bring you down again let's have a close-up <clears throat> see what we can see with those interference colors To roll around to see which which way in the light it can be seen the best. So throughout the whole piece there was the violet, the blue and the green. I can see, oh, I can sort of see some in, you know, we are. It's got that slight pearly sheen to it. Hello, hello. Let's come up. back this way but because I wanted to do the little trinket tray the heart shape I think what I'll do for that because this is all dry um, so I don't want to 
I try and add more alcohol to put this on. So I'm going to get some alcohol, rub it around the rim and pop it down. <gasps> In the colours. What do you think? It's so pretty. Loving the colours. The texture is really cool. Yeah, I love that about it. So, two. All right. So I have a little cup. Drop of the blue violet in there. Pop that onto the glove of my finger. And just rub it on the edge there. So I'm going to have to put it down pretty quickly because by the looks of it, add some more alcohol, isopropyl to it, just to have it a little bit more fluid. I have to be very quick. So I rub it around the rim, pretty much all the way around, even in the low points and pop it down right there. See what happens with that. So I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. I know I probably won't remove everything that's on there. So I'll just get my paper towel ready, soak it with some alcohol. So for those who didn't catch it, we're actually using some Perlex interference colours in this as well. And that's what we were just trying to look for to see if we could catch that interference colours in the light. So let's see what happens. It did nothing, guys. Wow. I'm surprised about that. It did nothing, naught, zero. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. That completely did not work. That's a little bit off-putting. Maybe it just needs to be a lot wetter. So, so, so. I haven't even done any of my six by fours. What am I doing? A little bit of alcohol in there to reactivate that. It had dried out a little bit. I'm going to have one more go. Right, rubbing it around one more rub it and drop it should do a paint pour over that dish <laughs> I know it was so cute oh I can see something happening there this time I don't know if it's quite what I thought it might be, but there is something going on. Um, yeah, I saw it, and for a dollar, I thought that's really cool. I was actually thinking about making a mold out of out of it. So, let's see how my mold making skills are. So, you off, Emma. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for coming in. Oh, look at that.
total mess. So just adding some isopropyl alcohol into that corner and trying to wipe it away. That darkness. And then see if there's a clean section of gloom. I think that's dry now but just while we try and add some vibrancy back into this corner there we go do my best not to make an absolute mess of it okay disappointing so so disappointing all right rescue so add some more isopropyl into here got one of these little uh, makeup eyelash glue applicator I found these on eBay um, they were a, rec uh, a recommendation, a suggestion from Miriam at Miriam's Nature. She uses them in her alcohol ink art work. Let's see. Try and push this out a little bit more. Okay. So I don't like it. Let's just add those two drops. Grab the balloon again, put what's left in here onto the base of the balloon. Oh, I just splattered. I didn't think I would. need to cut oh I have a hair come on got it So I got other splatters and I just, otherwise, what it is, it is. Um, so that's going down again in that similar section. Cups going down, not that one. This one can go down, nope. And we're going to spray just for something else. Let's see. If I spray from up high as I can reach. Two, three. There we go, now it looks like it's actually doing something. Hmm. 
you know, sometimes you get something really pretty and continue on with your plan with the hopes of only enhancing its beauty and it doesn't quite work out. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. All right. So just watching that, waiting it for it to dry a little bit more naturally. Because if I put any air onto it, these little sections will um, spread and join together. So while that's doing that, let's do the six by fours. So we'll pop down some isopropyl alcohol and create something beautiful over here with I thought the pink had gone then a couple of drops of pink oh, we're really flowing downward this is the Senorita Magenta for a darker color of pink over there and then perhaps a punch of passion purple in between. All right. So let's have a look. We'll use the airbrush for just a little bit, and I will. Oop. Shelter this one. same a little bit more fill in some of the gaps soften some of the color is this down again Okay, so it looks like all in all my alcohol ink night is not going as planned and I don't want to rush it and I don't want to hold you up any longer because I am still going live at 11 p.m. as well. <laughs> it's already nearly 20 past nine. So I am going to... Um, if anybody writes in the comments right now and let's see a number between I got one and 30 not yet um i'll send you a surprise gift because clearly my creative skills tonight with alcohol ink aren't going greatly so if you would like to receive a surprise gift from myself I have written the number down on the back of this card so if you go between 1 and the number 30 you can only guess one number per time, but you can guess multiple times. So I will write stop once I see it, and then I will flip the card over and reveal the number. Okay? 
All right, is everybody ready? I hope that we're all, all approximately the same in our feed. So making sure you're on live chat, everything. Uh, what I say, what I see on my screen is what will be. And so if anybody would like this, hit up the numbers from now. Go. Between 1 and 30. Write up some numbers. I know there's not many of you left. Sorry. That's probably because my arting was with me as yet it'll be back later keep going mandy come on guys keep going Keep going. I haven't seen it as yet. Just making sure. Okay. It still hasn't been mentioned. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh. <laughs> My arm is aching. I went to put it down. <laughs> okay, so on my phone, I see that. Let me just double check. And okay, um, just quickly scrolling through now. Sorry, sorry. The first time I see it on my phone is number 18. It's Mandy. <laughs> Congratulations. You will be receiving a surprise gift. So, when it's my birthday, I love to do some gifting to others. So, thank you very much. We've seen some beautiful effects here tonight, some pretty colours, but the overall arting was not there for me. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being a part of it and picking a number. But let's just take these off and see if anything actually happened. Not really. Look at that. No. Nah. So I guess this ended up being a bit more of a learning learning curve again and again another example of how fluid art can just work one time and not another so happy mail is always good absolutely tish so all right so thank you so so much for being here i will be going live again at 11 p.m uh, if anybody is still awake or still getting on with their day and I will not be attempting alcohol ink I will find something else to do it will probably be resin at this point so all right thank you again I really appreciate you being here please subscribe like comment and share please please share um, I need to get this channel out there I have a new Facebook group. It is called Creating and Sharing with Tracy. I've had a lot of requests of 
How can I share what I've created with you? How can I share my artwork with you? Um, so I thought I was never going to open a Facebook group, but after that I realized how important it could be to help somebody out if they're stuck on something and can contact you a little bit more easily if they have Facebook, that is, of course. So please head over there. I'd really love that. Um, we've only just started it, so it'd be lovely to see some more faces and sharing of their artwork. So I will, Tish. Thank you. And, yeah, so congratulations, Mandy. Take care, everybody. If you have to go out, please... Please look after yourself and be kind. Let's move in a little bit more. Be creative. And be fabulous.